Hello and welcome to this short tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. I've received a few questions about putting multiple lines of text into a cell and how exactly do you go about doing that. And I'm going to illustrate that here. In column A, as you can see, I've got a label name and city, so I want two bits of information to go into the cell. What I'd like to have happen is that the name goes on one line and the city goes on a second line. So let's see how I might go about doing that. So we'll type in the name, that's easy enough, and now what you might think is the obvious thing to do is press the Enter key, but that doesn't work as you know because that simply means we move down to the next cell. So that isn't going to work. And the solution is fairly simple, it's to use a keyboard shortcut, so I'll just retype Fred. And now I'm going to press Alt and Enter. And then I can type in the name of the city and then press Enter. So there's my two lines, so I'll do that one more time. By the way, you'll notice that when I type in two lines, Excel automatically expands the row height to fit the, the new line. And if I delete the details, it reduces the row height. So one more time then, so there's my name, Alt and Enter. And there's my city, Enter, and we go to new line. Do the same thing here, and so on. And I'll also apply that to an existing entry, if I just bring this address and name into view there. So I'd like to edit this so it goes on to multiple lines. So make sure the cell's highlighted. Press F2 to go into edit mode. I'm just going to use the keyboard, so I'm going to come across just after the comma. Alt and Enter, again, come across just after the comma. Alt and Enter, uh, one more time. Alt and Enter. Press the Enter key finally, and there we have the address on four lines. Now if I go back to that A5 cell with my full address, and if you look in the formula bar, you only see the first part of the address, or well, the name in fact. Now I can actually expand the formula bar by clicking and dragging down as far as I want, so you can reveal the full cell content. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you can come across to the right side and just use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through line by line. That's how it behaves in Excel 2010. In Excel 2003, if we look at the same cell there, and if I click on it, you'll see the formula bar auto expands to show the full content. So slightly different behavior there, but you get the same result. So that is basically how to put multiple lines into a single cell. Uh, one final thing is just to remember to keep your column width correct as well, because if I just reduce the column width so that my main street address doesn't fit, you'll notice it wraps around onto the next line. So watch out for that. If you're having problems with multiple lines, make sure your column is wide enough to fit whichever is the widest entry on your lines. So thank you for watching this, hope you found something useful in there and I'll see you next time.